Well, good morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, the vlog was late yesterday. I got home from work at about half past nine. I thought I'd just have a quick nap before I edit the vlog because I was feeling exhausted. Oh, I well, woke up at quarter to eight this morning, didn't I? So I'm gonna go to work now, actually edit the vlog that you will have already seen, and then we'll continue with the brew day. I need to wait for the water to pick up anyway. We left it last night off, so it's probably cooled down from about 76 degrees, which is what I recaptured it at, to maybe about 50, 60. So we'll do that, and then edit the vlog, and brew more beer. away in movies without flinching when it explodes behind them. There's no way. I got bullshit on that. I need an MRI. I've got soft tissue damage. There's no way I don't have soft tissue damage. There we go, just hit render on the uh, video. That's taken me about half an hour to put together this morning. It's approximately five to 10, I think. So uh, what I'm gonna do is let that render up here. I'll nip downstairs, get changed out of this gear, put my scruffs back on, uh, empty the pump and the plate chiller, which has got caustic running through it to clean it out. Give that a quick rinse with some sanitizer and then also set the pump to recirculate on the boil on the fermenter and dig out the ingredients for today's brew which is going to be the vacant gesture friggin rides and uh, yeah then come up here and upload it to YouTube so you folks will be able to see it about 11 o'clock today aka yesterday but I'm sure that provided I'm not too exhausted uh, this vlog will be up at 8 o'clock in the morning, as per usual. So let's get on with the other jobs. I'm also not sure if I showed you all the kitchen equipment we've got in place. So let me just flick the other kitchen light on and I'll give you a whirl. Could do with changing these out to LEDs. Anyway, digression. So yes, we've got all the tables, the sink which I'm gonna install there. Anybody knows anything about running uh, pub kitchens, let me know what I want and where I want it because I have a funny feeling that there's stuff in the wrong place here, but I'm pretty sure that I need two sinks. So I've got a sink over there, and then we have a double sink here. So obviously you're separating your hand washing from your prep sinks, I guess. Is that the idea? And we've got this table over here. That'll be the glass wash area for the pub, if you like, and the pot wash area for plates and whatnot. Then over here, We've got one table there, the sink there, that can be moved left or right. We've got this uh, table with a built-in drainer, which I can plumb in as well. We've got this table here with the double fryer on, one meat, one veg. Is that right? One meat, one veg. Over here we've got the griddle on top of another table, which has a, a drawer on it, another stainless table. Then we've got the stainless steel three compartment fridge. Um, and then here we will have some type of serving gantry with maybe heat lamps on to keep the food warm as you ding, ring your bell and take the food out. I think that's the idea. And then there's freezers to go in and uh, another, well there's a freezer here, but probably a stainless steel one if I can get hold of one. And something else to go up in that corner as well. Lots to do. Anyway, I was brewing. Let's get back to that. Let's go and get that sorted. Oh, 
Paula camera died on me during that time lapse. I hope I caught most of it. Uh, the video should be up for yesterday. I don't even know why I'm mentioning that. It's because I just went and did it now, uploaded it. Uh, we're just about to come to the end of the match. We've got three minutes left. Um, I've been reading the comments as well. That's why I mentioned it. I was reading the comments whilst I just popped this video up, yesterday's vlog. And uh, I seriously am considering a condenser flue for the boil kettle. I don't know anybody on YouTube that's got one. Uh, there are several commercial companies that have them and there are a few people on Homebrew Talk, the Pro Brewer Forum, all that kind of stuff that have one. So these are my only resources I have to actually have a look at designing and building one of these. But looking at the boil kettle, it doesn't need to be that big because we're only boiling 500 litres. So if I can get something to sort of come up, down and round, and then I can just plumb it across into the drain, or even have it just drip on the floor. I mean, let's face it, it's not a problem here because the floor is always wet. During a brew day anyway. Yep. Ah, that's the end of the mash. So, any resources that you guys have got over there, out there, for a condenser flu, one that I can make using tri-clamps or RJT fittings. The spray nozzles are the most difficult thing for me to source, I think. So he wants to spray a fine mist of cold water into the flu to condense the steam and then drop it all out. Anyway, Google me some shizzle and send it over. I need as much info as possible. It'd be a big help. Save me a lot of time, cheers. Anyway, I'm gonna start the runoff on this. Let's see if I can get this time lapse to work. Right. Cue. So now we're just uh, rinsing the plate chiller down. Oh, listen to that. Getting rid of all the sugars. Doing this and then just turn it onto the face, pretend it's a microphone, and be like, <laughs> just see the eyebrows go. So I just stood here going, chuckling away. It's come out clear, hasn't it? Cider. <laughs> I was hoping you taste it and go, that's different. <laughs> Love pissed off. I fucking poured two like stronger ciders in. No fucking pull clip. Well, fucking pissed off. Mm. Then. Drink one up upstairs. Right. I know. What we do need though, you know, like, when we have a. It's like joint week when I try and run four or five pumps and we have the three that are empty, just something to go and empty 
clips to say, you know, something like, coming soon, I'm just settling or something like that. Yeah. So rather than just be empty, it's, it's a, they'll look full, but when people go, what was that when you're out? It's, it's just tech to say it's the base settling. Yeah, because they don't know it's not going to come up through on that pump, do they? Yeah. But it's almost like, yeah, what's next? So you get your pump clip that's in cellar, you put it on, it just needs a coming soon bash to go above it, doesn't it? Yeah. A lot of places just have the pump clip for coming next, and then literally it's some of the pump clip that goes above it. Yeah. And then you click it on, click that on, and it's, it's not on. It's in the cellar, but we've got nowhere else to put the coming next pump clips, have we? Well, there's something else that we've we could probably make we've got like a little peg on the back you know if a beer is hazy so just to say i'm hazy or something so we clip on it, it pisses me off pump clips say hazy the little pot looks like it's hazy and so knows the pint they go is that right i'm like yeah it's meant to be like the jar says it, it says hazy in the pump clip just something more yeah a bit bigger that we can make where we can just i was surprised that people are still asking questions about hazy beer if i'm oh. honest they sh it, it's not the dumb thing these days. But one of the uh, things that people, um, is that Tony is like, a hazy beer is a lazy beer. I'm like, fuck off, Tony. You fucking dinosaur. It is, yeah. That's going in, by the way. <laughs> <laughs>